Hello once again, my name is Wilbert Wong, bakery technician for Luzon of Benico Foods Corporation, the makers of Wooden Spoon All-Purpose Flour and Sun Moon Star Bread Flour. For our Panadhiro recipe, the Ube Bun Overload. For the ingredients, we will need 200 grams Sun Moon Star Bread Flour, 3 grams Instant Yeast, 2 grams salt, 40 grams sugar, 10 grams full cream milk powder, 110 grams water, 20 grams liquid ube flavor, 16 grams shortening, and 16 grams butter. I've already prepared the filling in advance. The ube paste is 20 grams and the cheese is 10 gram cubes. I already put the cheese inside the ube paste so that it will be easy to pick up. To start, load the instant yeast to the bowl followed by the bread flour, then the salt, then the sugar, then the milk powder. We then combine the water with the liquid ube flavor. Using a dough hook, run the mixer at the lowest speed to mix the dry ingredients then add in the liquid ingredients. Once all the dry ingredients are wet, you may add in the shortening and the butter and continue mixing at the highest speed. Continue the mixing process. As you will see in this part of the mixing process, the dough will start to clump up together. The dough will be sticky but there is no need to add any flour. You will notice that the dough has started leaving the bottom of the bowl. Very little dough is now sticking. This also means that your dough is almost developed. At this stage of mixing, we're ready to check for dough development. As you will see here, the dough is now elastic, smooth, and is not too sticky. We may now divide the dough by 35 grams. It's also important to note that I did not put any flour or oil on the table. of 35 grams. Round the dough into balls. This will ensure that your buns will have the same thickness all throughout the sides. Rest the dough balls for 15 minutes. We are now ready to fill our dough balls. Take a dough ball, place it upside down the table, widen, and then put the filling inside cheese side down. Then take the edges of a flat dough ball, make them meet in the middle, and pinch to seal the seams. Practice makes perfect! Rest them for 35 to 40 minutes in a container where there is no moving air so that the skin will not dry up. This is called final proofing. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes, then cool on a rack. But wait, we're not yet done. Pipe our spread some cheese spread on top and dip on some ube colored toasted desiccated coconut.
7, the Ube Band Overload. Bye!